Hi, everybody. As Andrew Morrison would say, yellow knife! <laughs> so great. Isn't this great? <laughs> I am overwhelmed walking out here tonight. Just, uh, woo. I got a little, I got a little weepy and like, oh, I got to play a concert. <laughs> it's so great to see everybody here, half of your faces anyway, uh, in theater. What do we have? 198 allowed in here. Amazing. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're beyond happy to be playing again, obviously. And uh, it's, you know, we got a chance to play lots outside, but there's something about the theater experience that's pretty special and uh, glad to be here with you. Um, we're going to be playing some songs from my most recent album, mostly, um, Bush Chords. You may have noticed in the lobby, there's a table that's set up with a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Feel free to take, um, if you even still have a CD player. Um, uh, bush chords in my previous album, Snappy Day, some buttons and stickers and stuff, so help yourself. Um, so we're going to carry on tonight with uh, the next song is called Duck Soup, and Duck Soup is, well, Duck Soup is really good, <laughs> but a lot of my songs are inspired by Métis style fiddling, so uh, the duck dance, the Métis duck dance is sort of the inspiration for this song, um, and uh, got a little couple little quirky things here to offer to the melody. <clears throat> So you know, it's funny when you record an album, there's often like various tracks where you know one track will be somebody playing the duck collar, and one track will be somebody playing the kazoo, and then of course like the instrument tracks. But to try to do that all <laughs> at the same time is challenging, and uh, 
know, Carmen, Carmen Braden, who we all know, who did an excellent show last night. She told me, I was tr trying to attach the kazoo to my head at one point and have it hanging down and she came out of her office and I love Carmen's honesty, like we're, we're become really good work buddies and she said, if it's stressful, don't do it. <laughs> and that was a little bit stressful, but I did it, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's been a crazy uh, couple years here. <laughs> Um, and this is not a new song, but I feel like it keeps reinventing itself for, for meaning, for, for me anyway, and maybe for you. Um, just how we have to accept change, moving on um, in a different way. Um, and, and just trying to come to peace with that, I guess. And uh, this song is called Pave the Lonely Highway. Pave the lonely highway Quiet coming my way Follow here in one day Pave the lonely highway All the stones are ground beneath our feet Flow dusty way we were then sell the dream forgotten close the door left open green will start to ripen sell the dream forgotten
Thank you. We had a really fun opportunity in April. We recorded our first, there's some, been music, some music videos with a couple of my songs through Womp, through the video contest, which has been great, but actually a music video that we were in um, as a band. And uh, so this is a new song that um, it's been recorded but hasn't been released just yet. And uh, the music video is, um, it's called Thin Ice. So we went out in April of this year to the actually not thin ice, it was the end of April. I think there's still six feet of ice out there, but you know, just pretend. <laughs> and had a really good time. So the footage is amazing and really fun. Um, that'll be out in the next month or two, um, ready, to, ready to go, and, and then also the single, but um, that's the song called Thin Ice. Thank you. Uh, so you may or may not know that this concert is being streamed in March um, for people that can't be here at the theater tonight. So um, welcome to all of the people that are watching in March. And we're in December in Yellowknife. Um, and I just wanted to draw a little bit of attention to the projection that you see behind you. Um, so Karen Gelderman, who I believe is here in the audience tonight, is a great pal of mine and also a fantastic artist. And for my first album, Snappy Day, uh, she created all of these drawings and I believe did them all with a toothpick. <laughs> and so they're all images of things that have inspired my songwriting and my you know, ideas, my ideas for songs, really. 
Um, so uh, Ben Russo, who also deserves a round of applause because I'm a technology dinosaur. So <laughs> he managed to put them all together in a nice slideshow. <laughs> And so I hope you're enjoying those as they, as they come across the screen. And if you see Karen in the lobby or whatever, just uh, you know, give her a little salute. <laughs> um, so the next song, speaking of things that have inspired me to write songs, is about uh, the largest member of the Weasel family, um, which is the Wolverine, I think. <laughs> and uh, so, so when I was doing dishes one day, you may have heard this story already, those of you in Yellowknife, but I'm going to tell it again because those of you in the greater part of the world, uh, maybe not, have not heard it. Um, I was doing dishes one day and this beast sort of waddled across the porch while I was, while I was standing there and looking out the window. And I didn't know what it was. Um, there was a, you know, the ring of sort of golden fur and like great big bear paws. And so I called my husband, Mike, at work and I asked him, I said, there's this creature that just crawled across the porch and I have no idea what it, what it was. And he asked me to describe it. and. He's basically like a walking in Encyclopedia Britannica, so he knew exactly what it was and um, told me that, you know, that's a wolverine. So, um, so the wolverine ended up staying at our house for a few days because there was a huge windstorm. We live on an island, and though they're good swimmers, it was pretty treacherous waters. So um, we had a few pretty amazing sightings of this, of this creature while it decided to stick around. So try to um, create the sound, I guess, of, of the image of what I saw of this animal wandering across the deck. This is the wolverine. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh, you guys are so full of surprises. Uh, I'm going to take a little seat over here to tell you a story. Um, there's a, we actually, if, if you're in touch with my YouTube channel, then you might know, but if you don't, if you're not, then um, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but after tonight, can you please subscribe? Um, recently, maybe two or three weeks ago, we just have uh, had a music video that was released. Um, Keith Robertson, who you may know, who's a wonderful filmmaker, did a really beautiful uh, documentary of a family's epic canoe trip a couple of years ago, a three-month canoe trip um, called Family Roots. And so he used some of that footage uh, with a song that I wrote, he, was, he commissioned me to write for that documentary, and so we sort of combined them together, and, and it's up online now. Um, so it, it's just a wonderful story. I think the kids were, I think the youngest, Alexi, I think he turned one on the trip. <laughs> and Emil, maybe like four. So, you know, they just, um, they're just amazing people, and the adventures that they've been on, and what they do still even with little little kids around, and the, the stories and the life that they're showing them. So anyway, this song is called Blue Skies and I. And if you can try to imagine the kind of scenery that they saw, and um, you have to watch it. <laughs> I can't even describe it. It's amazing. <clears throat> Here comes the loon. small piece of time a place in your mind all the drift in a dream in a dream where light meets the day and silent the night Take back what's mine without the world in the way. Blue skies and I will live here one day before I have tried. But now I can say this is the way back home. No one in the way. No path not to cross Shelter in a stray In a stray And I'll take back what's mine Without the world in the way Blue skies and I Will live here one day Before I have tried but now I can say, this is the way back home.
lighthouse moon Goodbye showcase stars Day by day next to you Next to you And I'll take back what's mine Without the world in the way Blue skies and I Will live here one day Before I have tried But now I can say This is the way Back home This is the way Watch the video. <laughs> it's so sweet. It's, uh, oh, I just can't say enough about those children. <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne and Leanne's kids. Really special kids. Uh, we've got a couple more songs for you tonight. Uh, the next one, we're, we're going to wind our way back to the weasel story. Uh, this weasel has had a profound impact on my life. And those of you who have come to some of my shows in the past will know, already know the ermine is something that, uh, it's, it's an animal that causes me great concern. I, I, I know that it's cute, and when it crawls in and out of the woodpile, that's fine. But when it's in the house, mummy no lucky. So actually this projection is bookend by pictures of the ermine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's like a, a therapy session. I try to keep having it reappear, like I have pictures of it up in my studio and I think that's what you're supposed to do. Look at, the more you look at it, the more you, the less you fear it, maybe? Anyway. This one is dedicated to the ermine. <laughs>
us a sound of it. Thank you very much. We've got one more song for you tonight. Uh, such a great, such a privilege to play in front of you. And thanks so much for coming out, um, making the effort to come out to see some live music and super appreciated. And um, I would like to say some thank yous to um, how this all happened. Uh, so you may or may not know that this is music from the edges of Canada. It's a series of concerts um, that are all going to be streamed in the new year. Um, so this, uh, this particular concert, I think, is on March the 2nd or something like that. Um, but the co-producers of this show are Debbie Peters and Margot Holmes. Um, and they are, they've been working tirelessly to make this happen. But also the people right here on hand, uh, of course, the Northern Arts and Cultural Centre for hosting us and for taking on this project. Um, to people that are actually here tonight. Uh, to the sound crew, Ryan Dempster and Jeff Petrie from PETA Productions. to Martin M. Slender that's doing all the lighting. <laughs> and um, of course to, to Womp and the film crew. I, they're sort of in the dark, so I'm not sure exactly which people are here. <laughs> and again, once again, a big round of applause for my amazing band. I'm a lucky gal. Um, and of course, finally, and not, not lastly, but finally to all of you for coming here tonight and to my family for supporting me and letting me have the time to, uh, to do this. Um, thanks for coming. Hope to see you after the show.
Thank you. Good night.